if you all can see, there's a certain thing I came on here this moment to share. I would like to mention the fact that there will be some carving to be done in this series, but I wanted to start it out with a little intro as to how we'll be carving some little elf heads or little Santa heads or whatever out of Babinga. And it is something where, of all the things I had been cutting out scraps for from different woods, different times, I probably forget what exactly I was cutting out of these scraps when they came out in this shape. But over the past few weeks since I've been off work and since the original events took place while I was at work and I couldn't watch them, I have spent this weekend watching some YouTube replays of the services that were conducted for Rosalind Carter. And while I was at it, I just spent a lot of time really sanding these little scraps of babinga in the shape they're in and just really getting rid of all those saw marks and burn marks and things like that that were in the wood and smoothing them out. And to tell you all a little bit more about the story, it was probably sometime over a year ago that I was kind of doing the sawing and came out with these scraps and while I was at it, I mean, you know, going through my scraps, trying to separate them, figure out what to make from them, I had these ones of Kentucky Coffee Tree as well that were in this shape. I thought at first that I was going to try to do it in a way where it could be like he could be on the sleigh like this, but when it came down to it, I decided that it would be a little more work to try to sand these down to make them into a sleigh and then it would probably hardly fit the character because this does not come out as the same Santa that you would see in a sleigh and more than that just um, knew it would be a little extra work just to attach him, drill holes, put sticks through and everything you'd have to do and have it be fragile, come off apart easily. So to give you another answer to the question, what will be a whole different subject is the fact that I have taken these scraps of Kentucky coffee tree and drawn little lines into them from which to carve Elands. E-L-A-N-D. That is an African breed of antelope and also the, the world's largest breed of antelope. So we'll probably go over that sometime, but as for now, I just wanted to introduce you all to the little story of how we came up with these scraps to make these little heads of these St. Nicholas figures or gnomes, like whatever you want to call them. So we're going to close this up now, and we're going to start the series in a bit.